asked for this, not me. I didn't ask for this, I didn't ask for this. Someone tell me why luxury brands are duping each other because you're just duping each other to be more expensive than the other. Ugh, I don't need it, <laughs> I don't need it. Your prices are getting higher and your products are the same quality is all I have to say. Ah, it's so something that I would like. Nothing about this intrigues me at all. Like there are celebrities that I love, but if you're not doing it for me with your branding, then I'm just not gonna buy it from you. You need to do a little bit more to take my money. Hey babes, it is that time of the month again, and no, I don't mean that time of the month. But what I'm trying to talk about is we are roasting new makeup releases once again, February edition, okay? And there's no Valentine's Day releases in this one, all right? So we can look past that one. My name is El Chu. If you're new to my channel, I make shopping videos, makeup videos, all the beauty types of videos. And in the series, I basically just try to convince myself out of buying all of the unnecessary ish but this one today is gonna to be hard because I already did a little bit of a scroll through trend mood to pick out what I wanted to talk about and y'all y'all I kind of want it all I want it all so let's try to talk myself out of some of this stuff I might still end up buying some of it but feel free to convince me out of it down in the comments below because I need some strength in this one this one is not gonna be an easy one there are so many good releases coming out that I just ah, I can't do it I can't all right, I'll shut up now and I'll pull up Trend Mood all over here. And first of all, wait, y'all, do you see these flowers? They are like crochet flowers. I found them at TJ Maxx and I'm pretty sure you could probably get them off of Etsy too. But I have been wanting flowers like this for so long. They last forever and they're just so cute. If you are for some reason watching and you have a partner you want to get flowers for, crochet flowers are the way to go because they last forever. They're so cute and look at boom 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 all right <laughs> anyways back to the show here the first thing I wanted to talk about is something that has already been released and is available to buy and it's the summer Friday lip oils and I had no idea about these until a subscriber commented that I should buy them and try them and I was this freaking close to hitting checkout, but I had to convince myself out of them. I had to convince myself out of them. Y'all know that Summer Fridays is known for their lip butter bombs. I'm sure some of you really, really love them. And I personally thought they were a good product, but they're not my all time favorite. I don't think they're as moisturizing as let's say Aquaphor, but they're nice on the lips. And I actually kind of the road lip tints a lot better. That's all to say that the lip oils looked intriguing, but I was watching a bunch of TikTok videos and I just wasn't convinced. The thing about these lip oils is that they don't look like the types of lip oils that I personally like, which is more like a gloss than a lip oil. I hate when they're super sheer and they slip on the lips and don't last long on the lips. I also felt like the shades were just like nothing special. They look like the shades of the lip butters. If that's the case, I would just choose a lip butters because they look a little bit more juicy and moisturizing and the lip oils just looked underwhelming to me. Not only that, I decided to save it in my cart. I felt this urgency to buy them because I, I had a feeling they were going to sell out and I just told myself, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait and if I come back to buy these and they're sold out, they're sold out. There's nothing I can do about it. And lo and behold, a few days later, I almost bit the bullet and bought these damn lip oils and they were sold out like completely. And you know what? I don't regret it because there are so many other makeup releases that I'm more excited about. So that's what I had to say about that. Skin by Kim also released their new makeup line, which is kind of like a re-release of Kim Kardashian's previous. I think it was KKW Beauty. And I don't think I'm going to say much about this because I actually am considering doing a full on video review about it. All I'm going to say is that $50 for a cardboard packaging neutral palette is just too much. Okay. ColourPop could probably dupe that in two seconds and honestly they freaking should because I do love the color story of this palette and the thing is Kim Kardashian is not a makeup artist per se she's known for her makeup but she's not a makeup artist and also she's not known for her eyeshadow the way that like Natasha Denona is and the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette the Beeble one looks really similar to this in terms of her lip products I am considering purchasing it for the sake of review but if I didn't have a YouTube channel I wouldn't I wouldn't wouldn't even consider buying it because I have 
have nude lip products that I love. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit hard to convince myself out of, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Let me try to think of like some negative things to like not buy this, but it is the new Watermelon Glow Niacin Niacinamide Hue Drops Sun Glow Serum. Oh my gosh, can we stop making these names so long? Yo. I do not like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I did not like the e.l.f. Halo Glow thingy mabliver. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't like those. I mean, not that I don't like them, I just don't use them. So I like the idea of them, but I don't really use them that often. I did love the L'Oreal Lumic Lotion. That is so good. And I, I didn't think I was a glowy kind of primer person until I got the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion. So technically, I do not need this new glow recipe hue drop situation. I don't. I love the L'Oreal one, it's cheaper. But what is convincing me to buy this is because I did really like the Glow Recipe Dew Drops, which is something I didn't think I was gonna like. So seeing this makes me want it. Ugh, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. This is the one thing I'm probably gonna buy and can't convince myself out of. How much is it? It is $35. Okay, I'm probably gonna put this on my list, but I will update you soon on if I purchase this or not. <laughs> oh man. Here's another winner for me. I don't know y'all, YSL release or is releasing new complexion products. It's their all hours hyper finish powder and their little clutch packaging and I'm a sucker for this packaging, okay y'all. I love it. YSL is just doing something that I don't think a lot of luxury like bag brands are doing. They took what makes their bags famous and put it on makeup. I don't know why luxury brands aren't doing that more but I love the look of it. It is a matte powder supposed to reduce blemishes, smooth texture, sounds like something I would like. And there's also an all hours hyper browns pa bronze powder. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I am excited for this. I can't hide. Oh gosh. Um, okay. What I can say is that this is probably gonna be like way too expensive and way too out of my budget to buy right away. I'm guessing it's probably in like the $60 range, 70, 80 maybe. I don't know. Sometimes when it comes to complexion products, luxury brands up their prices like crazy. So I think it's one of those things that I have it on my list. I might, you know, pause a little bit, but I actually think that this is gonna be good because their eyeshadows, the powder formula is just so soft. And if it's anything like that, I'm gonna like the bronzer and I'm gonna like the powder. So, oh gosh, guys, this is hard. Someone, please, in the comments, convince me out of buying this YSL powder and bronzer because I don't need another. But, ah, it's so in my element. It's so, it's so something that I would like. Next up is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tints, which has already gone viral and it hasn't released yet. Oh, wait, they have released. Never mind. But they have gone viral. There's four different shades. You get poppy pink, red, coral, and a berry shade. And they're supposed to be these lip and cheek stains, which reminds me of like Tarte. I don't know if you remember, like back in the day, they had like honestly sticks that looked like that, but they weren't jelly. They were just kind of like a hard, clear lip and cheek stain situation. But these look really interesting and I've seen some videos. I think the downside is they look hard to blend, but for some reason, I'm intrigued for some freaking reason. And at first when I saw this, I clicked away and I was like, whatever, it's just another gimmicky stain kind of formula. But I like the idea, the fact that it's cooling. I like the idea that it's this jelly texture. I like the idea that it's gonna give you kind of like a stained cold girl cheek effect, which I am not in that stage right now. So that could be why I'm not gonna purchase this. And then again, it's a permanent item. So I could probably wait to buy this. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. I think I want to buy it, but it has to be one of those things that I wait to go in store to swatch, see how I feel, and then decide. It is a permanent item, so I don't need to like run out and buy it, or you don't need to run out and buy it if you're interested. And it might be a gimmicky product. Also, I'm only interested in I think like one shade or two shades. I like the shade, hmm, I like the shade 
coral and I like the shade, what is that color? And I like the shade Burst, the pink one. So we'll see. This retails for $24. I'm not gonna rush out and buy it. I think I'm gonna use that rule of thumb where I have to wait to go to the store, swatch it. If I like it, sure, I can buy one. If not, then great, my wallet has been saved. Okay, next up is Fenty Beauty. Once again, they're coming out with these releases. They are releasing another highlighter, which I'm kind of like, like, huh? What? Out of all of the new things, this doesn't seem very new for Fenty because they're known for their kilowatt kind of highlighters. But then again, this is called the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. So I'm guessing this is going to be more of a subtle highlight. And if that's the case, your girl is interested. I love a good subtle highlighter. That is kind of my thing right now. The Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that I purchased in one of my shopping videos, I'm obsessed with. It actually has become my number one top. It knocked out the rear beauty and it's just because it's so nice and subtle on the skin but you can build it up to be very blinding if it's like that then I am gonna be obsessed and fall in love with it I also feel like the packaging is gorgeous again it's one of those products that I'm gonna wait to go in store for I'm not in a rush to like review this I'm not in a rush to buy it it's a permanent product so I'll wait if I see it in store and I fall in love with it, I'll snatch it up. Now this is an easy pass for me. It's the Tower 28 Lip Softy Hydrating Tinted Lip Treatment Balm. $16, nothing about this intrigues me at all. We've already got the Summer Fridays, we already got the Real Lip Tint. Tower 28, I do love Tower 28. I love the brand so much. If they sent this to me in PR, Happy to try it out, but something to purchase on my own, I do not think I'm intrigued. The shades are okay. Like I'm only interested in one shade. If they're more hydrating than the Road Lip Tint and Summer Fridays Balm, then maybe. But again, it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't need another lip balm. I could say sayonara, goodbye to this one save my money for something else that I want. Ooh, this recently was just announced. Rhyme Beauty is coming out with powder blushes. And listen, I've only tried one thing from Rhyme Beauty and it was their concealer. I like their concealer, but I didn't fall in love with it. I really wanted to try the foundation, but the problem with Rem Beauty is that their shade range is so odd. Like the undertones are just way off for me and it leans extremely warm tone for medium skin and I just am not willing to risk buying the wrong shade but I have swatched some of their other makeup in stores specifically their cream blushes and they look gorgeous their highlighter swatched in store is gorgeous it's just something about the Rem Beauty brand that I'm not like running for you know and I still don't think I'm going to run for this powder blush, but I'm intrigued because I do love a good blush. I'm very intrigued. And the fact that her cream blushes were really high quality, I feel like these are going to be really great too. But it's the packaging for me. Like I... Like there are celebrities that I love, but if you're not doing it for me with your branding, then I'm just not gonna buy from you. You need to do a little bit more to take my money. We'll see, this does look interesting. It's a little bit exciting, new and different, but I don't think it's gonna be a me thing. So I'll pass on this one. Makeup Forever is releasing yet another foundation. It is the hydrating version of their HD skin. I'm gonna pass on this. I heard that their previous HD skin was really great and I am interested, but again, I've just been trying so many different makeup and this looks exciting and it looks like a really good foundation, but when I'm here wanting like YSL or I'm here wanting to buy the dew drops or the hue drops, I'm like, I would rather buy that over this foundation, you know? And another thing is that I've been trying a lot of drugstore makeup and I am so impressed that at this point, luxury and high-end brands, I'm watching you because your prices are getting higher and your products are the same quality is all I have to say. e.l.f. also released their Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. Okay, e.l.f. with the rhymes here, I see you. This is supposed to be a potential dupe for the Hourglass Lip Balm Gloss thingies. I forgot what they were called. I do have one and I like the hourglass. Oh, they're the, they're called the hourglass phantom glasses. I do like it, but I don't think it's, you know, out of this world, extraordinary kind of formula. And I would be interested to try the elf plumping pens 
just because e.l.f. high key, low key has some really good lip products. I was proven by that a long time ago when I tried their lip glosses. They're so underrated and they're literally like three to five dollars for a lip gloss. I also recently tried their new satin lipsticks. Well, they're not that new. They're pretty old. The O Face lipsticks and those were really freaking good. Only nine dollars. So I feel like this plumbing lip pen is going to be just as good if I can find a shade that I like. I also tried their lip liners and y'all for two dollars such a creamy formula but it lasts really long on the lips. I'm obsessed. I want to buy every single shade so yes I'm convinced actually. I think that this is going to be a banger and I'm gonna have to buy it soon. I'm gonna have to buy it. I'm gonna have to try it and I'll report back to you. And last but yes least is the Dior Forever Glow maximizer highlighter <laughs> who asked for this not me I didn't ask for this I didn't ask for this I'm telling you is it accidentally or purposefully the year of the highlighter here because it feels as though we're trying to bring back 2016 highlight days except not in the form of powder highlight in the form of a liquid highlight. I think everyone and their mother is coming out with liquid highlighters to compete with Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter, to compete with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, but if you're a luxury brand, yeah. There's so many dupes at the drugstore that I think are better than Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter that I'm just like, you know, like, maybe try a different category of makeup, maybe try a different product, give us something new, give us something fresh, but no. Dior decided to give us yet another highlighter that you can use just like the Charlotte Tilbury one. There's a lot of different shades, so I'll give them that. And you have like, there's two different kind of products actually. There's the star, the star filter. Okay, someone tell me why luxury brands are duping each other because you're just duping each other to be more expensive than the other. And I don't care if you're Dior, I don't care if you're Chanel. Why? That's all being said though, I'm saying all of this now, but if I walk into the store and I see that it's nice, I might be a sucker and buy it, okay? I may be a little bit of a hypocrite here, but from the standpoint, point of not being able to touch these products in my hands. I just don't understand why luxury brands are duping each other. The other product that Dior is releasing is the Glow Maximizer. So they have the Star Filter, which is just like Charlotte Tilbury. Then they have the Maximizer, which looks like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe of their like liquid blushes, like highlight blushes, specifically similar to the shade Peach Gasm and Pink Gasm. And this looks interesting. I like the packaging. It's definitely better than Charlotte Tilbury because Charlotte Tilbury comes in like some cheap squeezy tube packaging but like I don't need it and the only way I think they could get me to buy this is I don't know <laughs> I don't know is if the shade range is better for the star filter because I felt like the Charlotte Tilbury one is just too orange of a shade range for me and if the blushes if there's a shade that I like I think that's the only way that could get me to buy this or if you guys comment below that you want me to try this and review it then sure I will buy it for the sake of review but as of right now it's something that I could probably wait to buy wait for some reviews that's the only way I'll be really convinced is if someone tells me this is so good like this is better than everything else then I can be convinced but at a glance there's a no for me what I wish they duped and did better is the Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty blush wands give us liquid blushes give us cream blushes that's what I want from you. That's what I want. Even a cream bronzer, give us some creamy products. Give it to us. We'll eat it up. That is about all of the products that I'm going to be roasting for today. If you missed my last roasting new makeup releases video, click somewhere around here so that you can catch up with those videos. And for those of you who don't want to spend lots of money on this high-end luxury makeup, then I did post a drugstore shopping video that you can watch somewhere around here. I would love to hear if you are interested in any of these new makeup releases, what you think, your thoughts, and your opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!